This coming 2021 will be a special year for the Church. It will be dedicated to St. Joseph. Pope Francis declared it to commemorate 150 years since St. Joseph was named patron saint of the Universal Church in 1870, during Pius IX's pontificate. Dio gli ha affidato i tesori più preziosi, Gesù e Maria, e lui ha corrisposto pienamente con fede, con coraggio, con tenerezza, con cuore di padre. Pope Francis's objective is to increase our love for this great saint, to encourage us to implore his intercession, and to imitate his virtues and his zeal. To guide this year, Pope Francis has published the apostolic letter Patris Corte, with a father's heart. In it, he explains that the two evangelists who speak most of Joseph tell us very little, yet enough for us to appreciate what sort of father he was, and the mission entrusted to him by God's providence. The letter outlines seven characteristics of St. Joseph's life, from love, tenderness, obedience, and acceptance, to qualities like courage, creativity, his example of work, and his discreet way of serving behind the scenes. But Francis also offered the possibility to obtain a plenary indulgence until December 8, 2021. It is a great manifestation of mercy and compassion. The Church shows her motherhood by settling all debts and consequences of sin. The conditions to obtain the plenary indulgence during the year of St. Joseph are the same as always, going to confession, receiving communion, and praying for the Pope's intentions. She could die at any moment. It was 2011. Ten years later, that medical diagnosis has not come true, thank God. It's all thanks to the intercession of John Paul II, who still helps others today. These cases are not the only ones. More than 15,000 testimonies of extraordinary favors attributed to Carol Wojtyla have reached the Vatican. Even a relic with a few drops of his blood gathers crowds in the streets and lead to countless new miracles. John Paul II is still alive.